So today we're talking about the 2019 MacBook Pro. I am super excited to have this computer on the channel. Finally was able to get my hands on one. And we're gonna see, is this the graphic design computer that it is always claimed to be? Some concerns I have, if you're considering buying the MacBook Pro, and also some praises for the upgrades and performance capabilities of this machine. That's all coming at you right now. new to the channel, I'm Benji Kaiser. I've been in the graphic design industry for over a decade. I now have gotten into video editing, motion design, uh, and some other areas of the design niche that have pushed me to have a computer that needs better performance than some of the older MacBook Pros were able to deliver on. And so for a while, historically, I have really put down uh, Mac and their previous iterations up until about 2018 and for good reason. They just didn't have the performance capabilities that they should have been continuing to increase year upon year. So I moved to the Dell XPS 15. All that aside, the latest MacBook Pro made me kind of annoyed because finally, we have a contender. Finally, we have some performance that is worthy of not only graphic design, but video editing and some light motion design. So let's talk about it. Why is this new computer capable for you as a graphic designer and video editor. Well, first and foremost, they finally got that i9 processor in there, figured out some of those thermal issues. When I was doing my tests, I did not get too much heat. Uh, I was doing some 4K exports, some 1080p exports, doing some heavy Photoshop work. It didn't get too hot. Uh, and it was actually a substantially quiet machine, which I was really impressed by. Because of hearing all those rumors about the thermal issues, I have a 2019 model, seems pretty good. Now. Maybe if you know you're sitting under a blanket or it's on your lap on your bed and you know it doesn't have good ventilation, you may get some heating issues. But as far as my tests were concerned, it handled them very well. I took a nine minute 4K clip, put it into Premiere Pro and exported it out at 4K YouTube settings. It did this export in five minutes and 36 seconds. That's actually one of the fastest exports I've ever had on this channel when uh, doing tests on computers. Very impressed that i9 processor was killing it with that export time. Okay, what about if we export out into 1080p, take that same 4K clip? Does it in a minute 50, really fast. Um, so that's what I'm saying, this new machine is really keeping up with a lot of the big, thick, heavier, chunkier gaming machines. It's gonna cost you, you know, this machine MSRP is anywhere from $3,000 to $3,500 depending on where you buy it from and exactly the options you have. If you're interested, in the description below, you can check out the exact model that I'm testing, the cost, the specs, all that jazz. That is an affiliate link, so I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. All right, so let's work into Photoshop. If I take a raw photo file, put it into Photoshop, boost it up to two gigs, and then save it out at full quality JPEG, it does that in 10 seconds flat. It's a very standard operation, and I've seen a lot of the newer computers get around that eight to 12 second range. So it's a good medium of the road. Now, some concerns I have before you just bail and say, oh wow, it sounds great. I definitely am gonna run out and get one right now, right here. Um, the new keyboard continues to have struggles with jamming up, with getting dust under it, with just not being as reliable as the older iterations. I compared head to head at 2015 with a 2019 MacBook Pro in another video. You can check that out on YouTube cards above or the description below. And talk about the differences between the reliability of the models of the past. This new keyboard is, is awesome. I mean, I love typing on it. It's very smooth, uh, catches your keystrokes. It's a good keyboard, but you have the issue with Mac saying, oh, well, you just have to keep it clean. You just have to do these maintenances. You just, you just, you just. Well, I don't want to just with a $3,500 computer. That's a concern I have. If it's not a concern for you, I fully understand. Head down in the description below, grab that affiliate link and make that purchase. I'll be stoked and I think you'll enjoy your computer. The new screen, Absolutely phenomenal as it's been in the past. It's a retina screen, 100% color accuracy, really bright, really vibrant, still good there. A frustration that I have personally is they've removed the ports on the side of the machine. This happened uh, a few iterations ago and it still is something that I don't really gel with. I wanna be able to put my SD card in. I wanna be able to plug my ports in without buying all kinds of dongles and adapters and so on and so forth. 
you're gonna get about a half pound difference between the previous model. Uh, so they definitely lighten it up. It's definitely a good bit thinner. If you have any comments, please comment below. I'd love to answer any questions you have. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll see you here on the next one.